In this video, we're gonna show you a really simple way that any homeowner can protect their most valuable appliance in their home, their heating and air conditioning system. When you think about surge protectors, you probably think about your laptop or your computer being protected in the event of a lightning strike or a power surge. But a lot of people don't think about how they can protect their HVAC system from that type of surge. I've personally seen equipment get damaged and quit working because of a lightning strike that was close by or other types of power surges. This right here is a Ditex surge protector and it can be used in 120 volt applications if you have like a 120 mini split or 240 volt applications, which is most HVAC systems. And this can be installed in as little as 10 minutes. So we're gonna show you how easy this is to install and you can have peace of mind knowing that your equipment is protected. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do obviously is we're gonna kill power at the breaker. And being as we're going to be messing with the disconnect, we don't want any power here. And as you can see, this is for our AC. We're gonna flip that one off. And then here at the disconnect, we're going to pull this out, pull this little cover off, and we're going to verify that we don't have any power here, and then we can go ahead and install our surge protector. Okay, so now that our disconnect has been pulled and our breaker is turned off, we're just gonna confirm that we don't have any power here. So from the house, we've got our line on the outside. As you can see, we've got zero volts, and obviously our load We'll have zero volts there as well. So what we're gonna do next is our surge protector is going to mount right here. And so we're going to bust out these two rings, not the last one. Uh, we need a three quarter inch hole here. So we're gonna pop out this middle one and this little ring that's right next to it. We're just gonna take a flat blade screwdriver. We're gonna tap this. And as you can see, that has come loose. We're just gonna wiggle it back and forth until this pops out. So there's the middle one. Next, we're gonna take some channel locks and we're just gonna pop out this second ring right here, just like that. You can see that piece popped out and we can go ahead and push this one back out to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so now that we have our hole punched there, we're just gonna take this nut off and as you can see, we have a nice rubber gasket here. That's gonna make sure that no uh, water can get into this disconnect and that everything is watertight. So we're just gonna slip this nut off. We're gonna feed our wires in through this hole. And we're just gonna slip it into that hole and feed our nut in and then we'll snug that up. So next we're going to install our ground. We're just going to make sure we have plenty of length to this little ground bus here. We're just gonna strip this back. And we'll get our flat blade screwdriver and we're gonna loosen one of these and connect it to our ground here. Okay, so we're just gonna feed this up under here. And we're just gonna make sure that we can see that ground coming up through the other side right there. Tighten this guy down. All right, so the ground is done. That just leaves our two leads here. The polarity does not matter on these. And so basically all we're going to do is one of these leads is going to go to the load side over here and one will go to the load side over here. We're not gonna touch these two middle line side. Uh, these are the power wires that come in from the house. We're only going to connect it in parallel with our equipment or our load side. And as you can see on our panel here, the little cover panel, that signifies that these outside ones are load and the inside two are line. So you should have a little cover here or some sort of labeling that shows what is what. But if all else fails, you can just trace back um, whichever conduit goes to your equipment. Um, as you can see, the white from that one goes to here and the black goes up to here. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure we have plenty of length here and cut these both. I stripped these back way too far when I installed this, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim these. What were you doing, Dave? <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so we'll just feed this back up in here. Just like that. Loosen that up a little bit more and we'll feed one of our leads in. Beautiful. So that just leaves our other load right here on the right side. So we'll just feed it up in there. Just like that. All right, so our wiring is done. We just have one lead going over to our load side on the left and our other lead goes up here to the right side. So the wiring and everything is completely uh, done here. So all we have to do here is pop this little guy back in. We're gonna go ahead and throw this guy in so that the on is facing up. And then we can flip our breaker back on and we have a little LED here. As long as our green LED is on, that means it's okay. Now, if you have a power surge of some sort and you come out here afterwards and this is off, you obviously would need to replace this. But the whole idea is that this, that power will go through here and destroy this, like sacrificing itself to preserve the electronics in your air conditioner. So that's basically a, a very simplified um, explanation of how it works. So let's go ahead and turn our breaker on and we'll show you what we got. Beautiful. As you can see, our green LED is now on. That means that this equipment is now 100% protected in the event of a power surge or a lightning strike. We see here that there's a number. If this unit does go bad, like this green light goes out, even though there wasn't a power surge, you can call them. These are an excellent product made in the USA. Very reputable brand. Well guys, it is that easy to install surge protection on your HVAC system. This can be installed on package units, split systems, mini splits, basically anything that has a disconnect like this, you saw how easy it was to install. And I think this is a super wise investment when you think about how much money you spent on your HVAC system or how much you would have to spend to replace it in the event of a lightning strike or a power surge. It could be upwards of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. So for a small price tag of under a hundred dollars, this is very much worth it, and I highly recommend it. Now, although our AC system is the most expensive appliance, there is many other things in your home that you'd want to have protected in the event of a power surge. So if you're interested in protecting your whole home with surge protection, check out this video right here, and you'll see how easy it is to protect your whole home with surge protection. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.